Okay, guys, so the top I just recently got, and if I set it out in the sun, it'll get the wrinkles out all the way, but that is a, the jump part of a trampoline. And the reason why I did that is to let some light through, but, you know, with the cart being all black, it's going to uh, get hot on the riders. So I did that to help shade it. But I had to add a hydraulic brake to the cart, which I just zip tied that up there. I ain't welded a brake bracket up here for the reservoir yet. Uh, we painted the torque converter. We went and decided to go all black with it. And that, that's an old shield off a uh, 12 and a half horse Briggs and Stratton I cut to make a that way the kids riding in the back seat the belt wouldn't snap or slap or something you know and slap one of them in the back of the head painted the valve cover today we added the stage one kit with the vent filter for the valve cover we got breather all that I got off of Amazon it's a 62 with a 10 tooth front sprocket. The back rear tires are 26s. We was gonna run 26s on the front. But however, with the 26s on the front, it does have a little problem of uh, dragging a little bit. It's not real bad, but it also makes it kind of cock back a little bit. So we had did the 22s back on the front the 26 is on the back because if you look at the cart frame it it comes up i don't know if y'all can see that it comes up to where the motor is four inches so it sits level and of course the tank used to be red I painted it black but we added the tank so it's got a gauge we got that off of amazon too and it comes with an extra fuel petcock and of course i sh shut the carburetor off then i shut that one off and that way and let it run until it runs out and that way you you know you're burning the fuel out of the carburetor so you're less likely to get junk in there i have not removed the governor because i really don't want to take a risk and messing up the motor too much so you know, and this was all done for my family to have something to do that's fun. You know, and move the key switch up here. It does not have front brakes right now. That's a Yamaha Blaster uh, front suspension on this thing. Now the Yerf Dog, the guy that I bought it from already done all that, except for this piece here, this piece, this, these two pieces and the front plate, he didn't do that. But the rest of it was already done. And then, of course, I added the back, added the battery box. This come out of a riding lawnmower. Uh, but as far as the bracket that holds it, I, I built that. This come off a of leaf bagger off a of lawnmower. It's just a rubber strip to hold the battery down. Uh, but as far as the exhaust I built, the bracket for the battery, uh, the brake, the, as you can tell, I used a lot of lawnmower parts that I fabbed onto it because I work on lawnmowers. So, but we got everything but a carb jet off of Amazon. And what I did there is, I've seen somebody else do it on YouTube. So what you do is, is you get these torch cleaning tips or torch tip cleaning little files and you jet the carb yourself and save a lot of time and money. Uh, it don't take very long at all, but you know, 
I'm trying to do this on a budget because like we have like I mean we're right at a thousand dollars in this build and it holds two adults and two kids or you can put three kids back here but two kids safely with a seat belt and there's still some more things I'm going to do to it like the foam padding uh, it's not going to be nothing fancy it's just you know just something cheap to have fun with and you know my wife and kids absolutely love it they absolutely love this thing and they haven't got to ride it yet um but i'm ready for them too uh after the stage one kit before the stage one kit with the smaller tires i was able to get it to 29 mile an hour you know and we are somewhat flat ground but we can go up in the hills and ride i put the 26 inch wheels on there in the stage one kit and we hit 40 mile an hour today so you know that's not too bad and if you've seen the hill i mean it's not really too much of a hill but up our roads a little little incline and then it goes back down well we were going up it and hit 40 mile an hour so even with 26 inch atv tires and everything it really performs good i have taken that comet clutch apart cleaned it um just a little odd and things you know you can customize them just as far as you want to like we're gonna i'll probably do a video where we're gonna upgrade the charging system on it and that way i can put the led whip antennas on it and do some lights on the inside and some on the front uh I mean, it's nothing, nothing major. You know, if you do your work yourself and order some of the stuff on Amazon, yeah, it's cheaper, and it may fail, but it's cheap enough. You'll you'll learn what to pick and choose from. You know, and do the work yourself, and it's a lot cheaper. I really don't know what people would pay for something like this. I don't even know if people like like it, but you know for a family it's very feasible for you know to haul two adults and two kids or you can put a full bench seat in the back which i need to change the seats and you could probably haul three kids in there but it, it's it's really shocked me how far this has come from a yerf dog with no rear swing arm or nothing which I wished it was a swing arm, a little more 